This is celebrity chef Rick Moonan's bar, the boiler room. And I'm using one of his bizarre ingredients to whip up some weird science. This is dry ice you're using in these drinks here? That's correct. Why do you use that in the industry? Well, we use it for effect, mostly. Okay. You know, we'll drop a piece of dry ice into some liquid, send it out to the guests, and it looks like a boiling cauldron. It's very intriguing. Put them down on there for a minute. I want to show you something else, okay? Inside this fish tank here is dry ice. The same stuff as in your drinks, the same stuff Rick is talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's solid form carbon dioxide, the stuff we breathe out. Now, okay. the interesting stuff about that is in room temperature, it's becoming a gas. Considering what's happening in there, what do you think will happen when I take these kids' bubbles what will happen to the bubbles when we blow them into that tank? I think it's go up. You think the bubbles will go yeah. up? OK. So that's super cold down there. Yeah, cold. And they should hopefully go up in the air. Yeah. Right. What do you think is going to happen? I think they will go up because of the air. So you think the bubbles will go up? What do you think? Depends how heavy a bubble is, you know? Because mm -hmm. it's going to find its way down by gravity, but it's going to hit a point where the cold air and the warm air, and it's warm inside because it came out of your mouth, I think eventually the cold air is going to win, it's going to deflate and pop. It could go down. It could be none of those things. Right. Okay. Shall we find out? Yeah. Right, blow some bubbles in there. Rick. There sure. you go. Fill that tank with bubbles and let's see what happens. Look at them. They're, they're kind of hovering. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and they get together. <laughs> they're not going anywhere. They're just quite happily just suspended in space. So the bubbles is kind of encapsulated, sitting on this sort of belt, sitting on a layer of something. So the answer was, in fact, none of the above. The bubbles appear to be suspended in midair. But why? What's actually happening here is the dry ice is becoming a gas, CO2. And CO2 is roughly one and a half times denser than the air around us, which means it sinks to the bottom. So these bubbles contain air, which is less dense, but still they're trying to go down because it's a bubble. It's got soap around it. It's heavy. So they come down and they meet something even more dense than them, which is this layer of CO2, and they can't get past it, so they sit on the top. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. Look at that. This, this guy right here, he's just happy as heck. Just, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. Sitting along. right there. 